D, the remote's not working. I think we need a new DVD player. Why is it not working? Don't worry, I'll check for you. I don't think so, we need a new DVD player. Hmm, you're right, remote is not working. I'll check what's wrong. I think I should check the batteries. Oh, it's okay. It's just batteries expired and they have leaked the fluid in the remote and there's rust in the remote. I'll show you guys how to fix this. Alright guys, you can attempt this fix with any electronic device where dead alkaline batteries have been left to leak and corrode the battery terminal. A torch, clock, anything at all but please take a note this is just a tip and if you do try it do so at your own risk to stop this from happening in the first place i suggest removing the batteries from your device if you are not planning on using it for a long period of time you can easily see here the terminal looks really dirty and rusty the batteries could have been in here for 12 months for this to happen this remote is not working because the oxidized terminal can no longer conduct enough electricity. Okay, I'm going to use a small flathead screwdriver and a piece of sandpaper to help me return it to its original shiny self. First, I will use the screwdriver to remove the top layer. This may take some time. You need to be gentle because if you are too rough, you could break the whole thing. Once I think I have scraped as much as I can with a screwdriver, I will move on to using the sandpaper. I will keep gently sanding the terminal back until it start to shine. If your spring is corroded, you can use the same method. You will just need to be even more gentle. Don't worry too much if you can't clean the whole thing. The main part you want to focus on is where the battery connects with the terminal. Okay guys, this looks nice and shiny now. Let's see if it works. Are you sure it's gonna work? I'm sure it will work. Let's try it. Thanks for watching guys. If your remote is not working, you can try this. It's very simple and very easy.